everyone, we are back working on finding the beat in music as well as practicing our basic rhythms. In this video, we're going to be working on weight changes. So if you've done our clapping video, we're finding our counts and practicing the basic rhythms, that is fabulous to train your ear and your brain and your body to start identifying those. But this exercise on weight changes is to start integrating what you've learned with the clapping exercise into moving your body because it's a long way from clapping to actually trying to dance on the rhythm. So the exercise that we did before where we're identifying the count one in the music or the first beat, then I ask you to identify the first and fifth or the first of each measure when we're talking about two measures and counting to eight. Then I ask you to go ahead and identify the odds, the evens, every beat, every beat and the end count, so we're syncopating and then working our way back down again we're gonna do that, but with our feet, with our weight changes. So when I ask you just to identify the one, you're gonna literally change weight. If you need to pick the other foot up to make sure that you're not putting weight on it, do so. But you're gonna see me draw out the rest of the counts to fill the space in the music. And so we're hitting our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing when I ask you to identify the ones and the fives. You'll have a little bit of leeway to stretch your body movement out as you weight change. Then when we move up to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the odds or the downbeats, and then switch to the evens or the upbeats, you'll find you're starting to walk a little bit more steady. It will take less of that whole time. Then we move up to the regular counts, it's probably gonna feel pretty normal. You might even feel a little bit challenged to keep up with the speed. But when we get to the and counts and we start syncopating, you're going to be jogging or pitter-pattering to those steps. I want to make sure you're feeling very percussive, very grounded with your feet so you keep up with every single rhythm before we start slowing it down and taking it back down the ladder again. So, practice with me. Here we go.
than building up because you have all of this space that you have to fill once again and your heart rate, your body's been moving quite fast. But it is a great exercise to work on accelerating and decelerating. And doing your weight changes will help you start to bring your ear, your understanding, and your body to the same place, making sure that you start dancing more musically. Have fun.